Hey guys, it's David here from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root your HTC Hero. Uh, to get started, go to TheUnlocker.com. So, like that. And look for the How to Root the Hero post. Then you're going to get to the post, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to do step one, you're going to download these three files. Okay, once you've downloaded the files and you've done step two, which is basically to uh, extract the Android SDK to the C uh, directory, um, we're going to take the other two files that we downloaded, the cmherorecovery.img, and we are going to extract files. And we're going to want to extract them to the SDK folder. So mine's under C. Android SDK, and we're going to put it inside the tools. And click OK. And then we're going to do the same with the super user. That's it. Put it in the exact same place. In the tools, in the Android SDK, on our C. And that's it for that. Okay, so real quick, we're going to the C, then we're going to go to Android SDK tools and we're just going to make sure that we have the folded files in there. It should be the CM Hero Recovery image right here. And down at the bottom, SU and superuser.apk. So as so long as those are in there, you've done it, you've extracted correctly and we can go on to the next step. Okay, now that we've extracted everything correctly, we're going to turn off the hero. And then we're going to turn it back on by holding the back and the power button. This will give us the little skateboarding androids. It should say fast boot. That's what we want it to say. And if it does that, we're going to plug it in to our computer. It should not say fast boot USB. Okay, once you've installed the drivers, you're going to open the command prompt on your computer. You can do this by clicking on the start menu and in the search bar typing in CMD. So once you get to the command prompt, you're going to type CD backslash. Then we're going to type CD Android SDK slash tools slash. Then we're going to type fast boot devices. And you should have a serial number come up with the word fastboot next to it, that means that your drivers are installed correctly and the phone is being recognized by the computer. Uh, after that, we're going to do fastboot boot cm hyphen hero hyphen recovery dot img and then hit enter. It should tell you that it's downloading the boot and everything should say OK. Once that happens, you should see your phone looking like this. Uh, this is the recovery image, so we want it to look like that. Um, once this pops up on the computer, wait a little bit for your or on the phone, wait a little bit for your computer to recognize it, and then go back to the command prompt. Okay, now back at the command prompt, we're going to type adb shell mount space slash system. Wait a second. It says started successfully. It's what we want. Then we're going to type in adb push su slash system slash bin slash. Wait for that. Then we're going to type adb shell chmod for 755 space slash system slash in slash su and hit enter. Scroll down a little bit. Let's see. Then we're going to type 
ADB push super user dot APK slash system slash app slash okay then we're going to type ADB space shell space reboot um, when that happens we're going to go to menu settings application development or turn on USB debugging we're going to hit home now we're going to plug the phone into the computer Okay, now with the phone plugged in, we're going to open up the command prompt, get into our Android SDK and tools, B, devices. And it should show us the serial, so it's showing us that the device is connected. Okay, and then you can type ADB shell. See a little dollar sign. We're going to type SU and hit enter. You would enter on the computer. You should see SU request on here. We're going to hit always allow. Once you hit always allow, you should get the little uh, number symbol. We're going to hit type in reboot and the phone should reboot. Okay, now that the phone is rebooted. We're going to open up an application and make sure that we have root. Uh, I like to move at, uh, cache to SD program. You can search for it in the market. Um, it helps speed up the phone a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to do move all cache in SD. It should give us an SU request. Again, we're going to hit always allow. And wait for it to do its thing. Okay, now that everything is on the SD, that means we have root access.